Hello everyone and welcome to Heather's Handcrafted Soaps. Today we're going to make a brand new product for the summer, for the spring. It would really be good any time of year, but it's to help you get your feet beach ready. It is going to be our Pretty Feet Lotion Stick. Now I'm really excited about this because I'm using some new products I've never used before. I'm going to be using some Kokum Butter and also some meadow can you see that meadow foam seed oil now these are really skin loving ingredients they're absorbed easily into your skin so they're not going to leave your skin greasy or oily um, because I don't think anybody really likes that especially on your feet nobody wants to do slipping and sliding you know unless you're in an ice skating rink right so let me show you how this is going to come together so let me grab a little container here I'm gonna pull you down where you can see so we are going to, hold on just a second here, there we go. Okay, so we're going to melt some ingredients in a double boiler on the stove. And the first thing we're gonna do is add our beeswax. These are white beeswax pellets. And I like the fact that they're in pellet form just because they're so much easier to melt than huge chunks of beeswax. So that's our beeswax. And then, what else are we gonna add? We're going to add our kokum butter. This is a firm butter. It's gonna be very moisturizing, but again, not leave your skin overly greasy. So we're gonna add that in as well. Get in there, all that good stuff. All right, and this little container is actually just the amount we need of our meadow foam, meadow foam seed oil. Meadow foam seed oil, okay? So we're gonna add that in there make sure we get all that goodness in and then we are going to pop this in a double boiler on the stove so I have a pot of water with about an inch of water in the bottom and we're gonna put this in to make a double boiler put it on medium heat and it's gonna take about 30 minutes to melt that down and once that's melted down we'll stir in our shea butter now I can't put the shea butter in now because if I do it'll turn the product grainy and we will also add in our vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil does two things. It helps extend the shelf life of the butters and the oils that we use, and it's just really great on your skin. So we're going to go pop this in a double boiler, and then I will bring you back just as soon as all this goodness is melted together. Okay, also I wanted to show you how we're gonna prepare our containers. These are so cute, they are push-up containers. So you will actually be able to push your product up with your finger and then push it back down so you don't have to worry about a twist-up tube getting messed up. But in order to make sure that these are sanitary, we're gonna spritz them with 91% rubbing alcohol. Now, I know that alcohol is in short, I mean in high demand right now, but this is something we always use and I just put it in a smaller container. This is something we always use to make sure that our products are, or our receptacles are completely clean and sanitized for the products that we're going to put in there. Okay guys, so we're back. And as you can see, uh, the kokum butter and the beeswax have melted down with the meadow foam seed oil. So now we're going to add in our shea butter. And again, we're doing this so that it doesn't become grainy in our final product. I don't want that to splash too much there. Let's just pop that in. And I probably should have cut that up into something smaller, but we'll just stir it until it gradually melts down. Shea butter is used in so many lotions and body butters, um, even in some hair products. It's just such an amazing moisturizer. All right, so I'm just gonna keep stirring this and then I will bring you back when it's finally melted. Okay, so we're back. And I did have to put this back in the double boiler for a few minutes, but now everything is completely melted. We're gonna add in our vitamin E oil. Okay, get that started in because this will set up very, very quickly. We're gonna add in our fragrance oil, and today we are using pink sugar, which is amazing. We need about five milliliters. So that's gonna be about it right there. Okay, 
Okay, put the lid back on and get this stirred up, and then we will put this in our little push-up tubes. So we want to make sure everything is really, really, really well incorporated. Mmm, it smells so good, too. I wish you guys could smell it. All right, so we're going to wipe this off here. Okay, put this over here. Sometimes I just don't have enough room to show you guys everything. Okay. So, I'm going to move the caps out of the way. And again, these have already been sprayed with rubbing alcohol. So, they are ready to receive this amazing body butter, foot butter here. more in each one, kind of top it off. Which ones need a little bit more. So this is actually my first time making this recipe and um, they didn't tell us exactly how much to put in here but they said to fill it up to the little um, pieces on the side where you put the top on and then to top them off. So it looks like we could have gone to the top of those marks to begin with. Let's see if I can get a little bit more to fill up one or two more. But anyway, guys, this is what it is, and we're going to let these cool, and we'll come back, and I'll show you how we'll cap them off. And we are back with our Pretty Feet lotion sticks. Let me turn this down here so you can see. These are so cute. And you just, look at that, you just push it, oh, <laughs> you just push it up, push it back down, and put your cap on. These are so, I mean, just the perfect size. They're not going to take up too much room, but yet you get a good amount of product in here. That's going to last you a good long while. So all you have to do is to just rub it on, and you're good to go. See, look, just push up, push down. I am so in love with these little push-up sticks. This is the first time I've ever done these. So these are so cute. Oops. So, so cute. So, so cute. So these will be available tonight, actually. Um, and they do smell, oh my gosh, the pink sugar smells so, so good. Mm, absolutely love these. So again, this is the Pretty Feet. I don't know. It's supposed to be called Pretty Feet. I might call it Happy Feet because I think if you use these, your feet are going to be so happy. Just like the song, because I'm happy. Do, do, do. So there we go. Your Pretty Feet um, foot lotion, foot lotion stick, foot lotion bar, whatever you want to call it. Easy, breezy, beautiful, portable. Y'all, this is so great to get ready for the beach. I think you guys are probably like me and probably ready for the beach. But anyway, 
um, warm weather is coming, what, tomorrow? So at least we can get outside. And, and today wasn't bad, but it's gonna really warm up tomorrow. It's gonna be dry. Hopefully some of this uh, wet waterlogged land is gonna get dried up from the wind. But I'm so excited you guys were able to come along on this journey. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to check our Facebook page, our Instagram page, uh, Heather's Handcrafted Soaps. So once again, and as always, thank you so much, guys. And, oops, see you later.